So you've updated to iOS 4.0.2 and want to know what the hell is so new about it? Well, stick around and find out. Hello there, good people of the internet. I am Christopher Chaos, and this is my iPhone show, the show that is created by using my iPhone. And in this episode, I'm going to tell you guys about iOS 4.0.2. Alright, so this isn't the big update that a lot of people have been waiting for that has, you know, Game Center and Fix for the Proximity Sensors and stuff. Um, that most likely won't come until probably 4.1, which probably will probably be around uh, September-ish or so, um, probably after they unveil a new uh, iPod Touch or something. Um, but this one, it, in the description, it really only gives you one really fix that it tells you about, which is malicious um, PDF files, which I'm going to go over what the heck that is. And then uh, there's another thing that it doesn't list on there, but some of you might be disappointed to find out that this update changes. So the update fixes what's called malicious PDF files. Now, if you're asking what the hell are malicious PDF files, well, a while back, some hackers had figured out a way that they could take control of your iOS device through a code inside of PDF files. Now, Safari, when you open up Safari on your iPhone, your iPad, or whatever, um, Safari will automatically download small PDF files for you to be able to read on the website or whatever kind of thing, or in emails and stuff, too. Um, so, inside those PDF files was like hidden like a code that would basically allow hackers to take control of your iOS device and everything and be able to do what the hell they want to do with it and you know, get all your information, your photos, and all that kind of stuff, apparently. Um, so Apple, you know, when worked on solving this problem, and that's what's in this, uh, in this update, is, a, is a, an update so that, you know, if you go and you download this PDF file, hackers are not able to use that code to get into your iOS device. Alright, so another thing that this new iOS update affects is those of you out there who are maybe thinking about uh, jailbreaking your iPhone using the simplicity of the jailbreakme.com website. Now first let me show you guys the jailbreakme.com website. Um, I got my old iPhone 3G here. Let's open it up. And all you had to do was come into Safari, go to www.jailbreakme.com, and it comes up with this on your phone. Uh, it's even got it like the little sliding bar right here that kind of works in the system and everything. And that's all it took was sliding that across and it would start installing um, the, basically the jailbreak for your iPhone and it was as easy as that. Now the problem that came, of course, you know, it's very easy to jailbreak your iPhone and Apple doesn't really like that so much. And also a lot of people were going into like Apple stores and jailbreaking the, uh, the, the demos that were there on the, on the showroom floor or whatever. And uh, so now you won't be able to do that. If you try to go to the jailbreakme.com website after you've installed iOS uh, 4.0.2, it's going to come up saying that you have too new a version, you need to downgrade, which is, it says it's impossible or something like that, which I've seen there's ways of doing it, but um, it's a big pain in the ass. So if you have upgraded to the iOS 4.0.2 and we're thinking about jailbreaking, you're probably going to have to wait for them to maybe come up with an update or something for, uh, for the jailbreakme.com for it to work or whatever the situations might be. So there you go, that really about does it for uh, iOS 4.0.2. Not a whole lot of new stuff, like I said, just the security things, and then uh, because of it having a new update, it makes it to where it doesn't work with uh, jailbreakme.com. Um, anything else probably that ran off of 4.0.1, um, like uh, certain websites that did certain things, probably isn't going to work with 4.0.2 as well, but uh, I, I just mentioned jailbreakme.com because it's been a really big thing in the news or on YouTube and stuff like that for uh, iPhone users and iPad users for um, being able to jailbreak so easily. Um, a lot of the big stuff, like I said, probably isn't going to come until 4.1. Um, I'm guessing also with 4.1 along with Game Center and the proximity app, or the proximity sensor fix, um, we might even see the Netflix uh, application. Um, I've, they've, Netflix has said that you know the Netflix app will come out in the summertime, and I'm sure they're probably waiting for 4.1 to come out. That way they don't release the app and then have to rechange it around to make it compatible with 4.1. So probably around that time frame we'll probably see the uh, Netflix uh, application come out be able to stream uh, instant videos over your iPhone or your iPad. Um, that about does it. That's really all that's new with uh, 4.0.2. Um, thanks for watching. Hope you guys subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I'm Christopher Chaos. This has been my iPhone show, and thanks for watching. See ya.